so so <laughs> with, with that story i think we should do the world exclusive on, yes on, on your stream yes that, that would I be actually prompted you 30 minutes before we started let's do this uh so so what's really funny is rhett and i were actually going to do an in-person show for the first time in like four months again and uh and so rhett's sitting here and and ian goes oh by the way can i be on the show and i went rhett you're getting paid anyway go home drink a beer <laughs> you're good um so yes uh let me uh let's see you sent that to me in discord so let me pull that no, no, no. Oh. Well, it's it's uh, is it? I, I, I kind of want to weave a narrative. Okay. Just to okay. Go ahead and paint a picture. Tell, tell you what, I will. I will pull up the image and uh, and get that prompted and and ready to go. Go ahead and weave your narrative, and you let and, of, yeah. and and you let me know when you want to uh, to reveal. Okay. So, um, the journey of Intel's 10 nanometer has been long and arduous. Jeff, do you remember the name of the first generation of Intel's 10 nanometer product? Oh, gosh. Um, their first one was, it was slated to be a mobile chip. Uh, and, and it was kind of, gosh, that was 2020 when I think they unveiled that. Might have even been 2009, like late 2019. I'm forgetting the actual code name. Um, I do know it was only like a 15 watt part. So, it, that's all they could they could muster out of it. So the first one that went to major retail was Ice Lake, uh, yeah. Ice Lake Mobile, right. in 20 late 2018, I believe. However, they did state in 2017 they were shipping 10 nanometer for revenue. What they were talking about was a part called Canon Lake. Oh, can that's As you right. say, yes. 15 watts, yeah. two cores, mm -hmm. integrated graphics didn't work, so you had to use a, an, a, a, a GPU. I was the first person to review this because I managed to find Lenovo were selling the CPUs in a education-based, you know, for like a second grade class education-based laptop. Yeah that Intel had just said, sell these CPUs so we can say they're shipping for revenue. I, I understand right. that there were 100,000 made and 10 vendors got 10,000 each and were basically told sell these and Intel essentially subsidized it. That's how I understand it. Yeah, um, it, it, so it, was based on their, it was based on their eighth gen fab, but, but shrunk down to 10 nanometer from the 14. So, yeah. 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 Well, it, yeah, so... It, 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 it had its own name. I can't remember what the cove name was for it. Right. Um, right. But 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 I uh, I picked this laptop up. Um, I I pay. I ended up paying something like six hundred dollars because I had to find a friend in China to accept it, ship it. I had to pay import taxes. Mm -hmm. It took two months. It was an ordeal. I was the first person to review it, and then subsequently Austin Evans also reviewed it somehow. Um, because Intel eventually sold it in NUC form. Yes. I have been after one of these NUCs for a while, specifically the eight gigabyte version, because it, it's soldered, um, soldered DRAM down. The laptop yep. was like four soldered plus so dim, mm -hmm. and that was just a pain because it wasn't, there was thermal limits. So I wanted a NUC, and I've been after one for a few years. I finally found one on eBay, only shipped to the US. So I got, knew somebody who was going to innovation. I said, can you take delivery? And that's what this is. Uh, let me see if I can get it on yep. so, actually center camera. So you've got that. So, so, so this is there. You go. This is the Core i3 8121U dual core nut, new in box. Uh, it, it so we basically uh, had it in an old storeroom. Uh, Denver, I called it in my chat. Uh, i3 8121U. Yeah. Nailed it. Yep. Yep. So that that is the intel's first 10 nanometer product that was named and technically did go to customers and it went in a nook so there was some scale and you can buy the four gigabyte version today uh, compared to the equivalent dual core kb lake it's not worth the silicon it's printed on <laughs> right <laughs> it uses a radeon 540 and uh yeah so at the uh, i3-8130U is the KB Lake U version. Yeah. That is Intel's first 10 nanometer product. 
Now, Intel's court renamed 10 to 7, and... Intel 7 process built you know, on 10, 10 enemy, in, right. Right, right. So, so, so th th this NUC, I call it, it was the Intel's 10 minus process node. <laughs> have you, the have you talked to them had. about their node naming to, like, oh, we can't, we can't do 7 yet, so we'll name it Intel there's, 7 there's, based on 10 nanometer. There's a story. There's a story, yeah. Um, Can you say it on so air? Or is, should we? <laughs> <laughs> it, it probably requires its own segment. Okay. Um, so, go, going through go, going through all of Intel's ten nanometer class um, processors, mm -hmm. we have uh, we 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 have Cannon Lake, we have Ice Lake, we have Tiger Lake. Um, what was after was. Was there something after Tiger Lake, or was that just Alder Lake? Uh, um, ti no, Tiger Alder Lake, Lake, then Alder Lake. Right. Yeah, t yeah. Tiger yeah. Lake was eleventh. And then, yeah, yeah and and um, we've got Alder Lake, and we know Raptor Lake's coming. We've just discussed Raptor Lake. Um, and then on the on the enterprise side, uh, the first ten nanometer product was Ice Lake, um, because that was delayed. So it went Sky Lake. Um, Cascade, Cooper, Ice, uh, and then the next one um, being Sapphire Rapids, Intel's technically most advanced 10 nanometer class processor. Not quite as advanced as the other chip we talked about, but <laughs> but pretty darn, yes. Is it? So, so you, you can't see this. This is a wooden box that says Intel Xeon. If, if I open it up, and because now my DSLR is no longer on the show, and I take what is inside it out, and it's going to fall down because <laughs> uh, this is just a bugger. <laughs> Let's put it this way. Really heavy. It, it, it probably weighs the best part of a couple of pounds. Ooh. Okay, there we go. I have here in my hand the... Intel, this is probably where you put up the picture because I can't see it. Yep, exactly. This is the Intel Xeon. Fourth generation Intel scalable Sapphire Rapids processor in Lucite. World exclusive. Um, only a handful of people at the show got these. I pinged them. None of them have opened their boxes yet. <laughs> so I've sent this photo on. Um, it's got hex screws in, it's got these hex uh screws to keep lucite on i didn't bring my screwdriver with me um i have held the chip um because you know a few chips have been floating about at least engineering yeah. samples this likely is a non-working sample yeah um but yeah i have a paperweight with sapphire rapids cpu Woohoo! so they exist now we can we can finally say yeah we saw sapphire rapids in wafer form uh, back in December, when uh, when Ian and I were were at the uh, the Hillsboro campus in Oregon, so but uh, fourth and, and, uh, fourth gen so scalable that, that, was, that was wafer. Yeah. This is now chip. Yep. And if you've not seen an LGA um, forty six seventy seven chip before, they they are interesting. They yeah. are uh, an I'm interesting. Like so. Maybe... Yeah. Um. So I think I don't know if my camera. Yeah, here let my me. Cam. There we go. Yeah, they are. Uh, they're very different. They're very distinct sockets uh, with those uh, those two hollow sections in the center, and then split across the middle. Um, uh, I ha I have seen a couple pictures of motherboards floating around, although I don't think I can post either of those either. Um, but uh, yeah, th they are wild looking sockets. That is for sure. So uh, there has been a disclosure today on Sapphire Rapids. Um, I just I, I need to bring up what my embargo is, just so I definitely make sure I don't say anything I shouldn't. I don't have an embargo um, on it, so you could like DM me and we'll no. <laughs> uh, I, I'm pretty sure that's cool to breaking my embargo. Um, yeah. So 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 it, it's gone 4 p.m. Pacific. Um, okay. So. What I can what I can say is that right. So so today I the reason why I have this is I participated in a VIP experience uh -huh. of 
um, Sapphire Rapids, where they demonstrated um, Intel's accelerators. Now, when we think of a processor core, it's stuff that does math, and then then we apply then we added graphics to the core and the graphics was an accelerator that did graphics and then we had decode and encode accelerators that encoded and decoded video mm -hmm. and apple does a lot of marketing on this uh, intel uh, and then a like avx 512 was essentially a kind of an accelerator and now right. intel has added now intel has stated that sapphire rapids now has four accelerators we have Intel QAT, which you may be familiar with, mm -hmm. Quick Assist technology. They've had it for a couple of years, uh, and it's to help accelerate um, networking and compression. Basically, you're offloading your workload from your core into a dedicated accelerator. Because if you're in the cloud and, you're, and you sell cores, if you can, rather than spend five cores dealing with network traffic, if you can offload that, then it's another five cores you can sell. Right, exactly. Uh, Intel AMX, it, Intel AMX, which mm -hmm. is their advanced matrix extensions, which is the next evolution of AVX five twelve. Mm -hmm. uh, Intel DSA, which is uh, uh, another accelerator to help dealing with uh, NVMe um, using SPDK. Um, I, I uh, uh, DSA something something accelerator. I, uh, direct I storage acceleration, I think. I, uh, it's something I, like that. I don't that, think yeah. it's that, but it's something like that. Yeah. And then there's IAA, which is in in memory and analytics, mm -hmm. um, which is all to do with uh, optimizing databases, multiple accelerators. And they demonstrated workloads comparing 64 dual socket, 64 core Milan versus 60 core Sapphire Rapids. This means that we bef we previously thought. So again, let's let, let let's make this kind of an exclusive, even though the embargo lifted three hours ago. Mm -hmm. um, Sapphire Rapids, we previously thought went up to fifty six cores. It will now go up to sixty. Nice, nice little and, nice uh, little game. This, this, and this, this this probably has dead silicon, not cores. Um, <laughs> but yeah, you know, I I may take it for a munch later. Yeah. Uh, there were some things that I had to double check that I definitely made sure I didn't. <laughs> that you're allowed um, to, see. yeah. So I, you know, I, I, I can't. Uh, for, all I can say is the data, the data that was compared, and there are graphs that are now public showing 60 core versus 64 core. Nothing about um, any other details about the processor aside from the accelerators. Um, a, a, they didn't tell me a lot of it, and B, anything that they did tell that I haven't just said on stream is now is under embargo until a later date, which is, um, again, under embargo.